Hi, Kenyan Christians. What Christians should ask of government to not play God? Part 1. Number 1. Playing God is the greatest temptation of government. For a government to play God is to pressure its citizens into idolatry. Governments can pressure it, their citizens into idolatry in multiple ways. The object of idolatry can be a particular leader or regime. It can be a particular political party. It can also, as we'll explore in a moment, be a particular end, even a good end, that government is trying to achieve. In his book, Between Bubble and Beast, Peter Leithart says that governments fall into five categories. First, bubble. Government can set itself up as an alternative to God. We see this in Genesis 11.4, and they say to one another, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make our name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. They wanted to make a name for themselves, to displace the name of God, so they built a tower that would reach to the place of God. For Babel, the government itself is the idol. Second, Rod. Government can be commissioned by God to discipline God's people. Assyria in Isaiah 10 is an example of this. The empire made war on Judah and conquered much of it. But Isaiah 10, 5-6 makes it clear that God commissioned them to do this. They are referred to as the rod of God's anger. Third, Refuge. Government can be commissioned by God to protect God's people. Think of Egypt at the end of Genesis, in Joseph's time. The government under this pharaoh respected the God of the Israelites and the religious minority living among them. Fourth, Messiah. Government can even be commissioned by God to rescue God's people. An example of this is Persia under Cyrus. In Isaiah 45.1, God refers to Cyrus as his anointed. He is chosen by God to incorporate Judah, not just protecting the Jews and delivering them from oppression, but providing the materials for the rebuilding of their temple. Finally, governments can be beasts, devouring the people of God and sacrificing them to whatever idol they worship. Think of Egypt in Exodus. In Exodus 5.2, Pharaoh says, who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go. Pharaoh reenacts Adam and Eve's original sin, but more brazenly and audaciously. He is conceived of his own identity so as to exclude the moral legitimacy of God's claim upon him. He refused to assent to God's judgments set himself as judge over God's judgment, and rejected God's people as God's people. The consequences of this are a state that exploited, abused, and feasted on the flesh of God's people. These are excerpts from What Christians Should Ask of Government to Not Play God from the Nine Marks website. We need God's help. Renouncing all, counting all as loss means that we will deal with everything in ways that draws us nearer to Christ so that we gain more of Christ and enjoy more of Him by the way we relate to everything. That is, we will embrace everything pleasant by being thankful to Christ and we will endure everything hurtful by being patient through Christ. From the Desiring God website. Thanks for watching. Bye.